Hello everyone, Travis from Animan, and today for Chainsaw Man, uh, I felt like I wanted to give a little segment to three of my favorite characters within Chainsaw Man. Now, two of these characters are very well-known, beloved characters that you probably already know. Um, and then one is uh, for those that are not, uh, for those that have, haven't read the manga. Um, there's uh, one particular character I'm going to talk about that I absolutely love. So, let's get in with my favorite characters. So my first character I want to talk about is Denji. I love Denji. He is just a very simplistic character, but complicated, uh, complicated as well. And I, I find him very intriguing because he's portrayed as... As for people that have not seen the manga, he's very portrayed, or seen the anime, read the manga, um, he's really portrayed as, like, this horny, like, teenager, but there's a lot more to Denji in the fact that, like, he's enjoying life to the fullest, and especially where he's currently within the manga, there is a very interesting struggle to Denji as a character, and you kind of want to root for the guy. Uh, you you kind of want him to have that happy ending, and especially for those that have read the manga, um, and you guys know who you are, you kind of also feel like the karma that Denji gets. Like, like you kind of sit there and you're like, yeah, you know, it's kind of deserved, but it's kind of not deserved. And honestly, he, he's just a really well-written character, and I think what puts Denji aside from other characters is that a little bit of simplicity, that little bit of humor he adds, I think it really goes a long way and shows so much to his character. That's why I love Denji a lot. Second character, I have to put her here. She's just one of my favorite female written characters, Kobini. I love her so much. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing her name wrong because I'm not. Well, that's embarrassing. Uh, I love Kobini so much. She's just she's the interpretation of what like what a lot of us are thinking if we were in Chainsaw Man um she's just a fun unique character and uh well I wouldn't say you say unique we've had characters that are just panics of stress but like she's just like amounts of stress every time she's on there I feel bad for her she's just like a little bit a little cinnamon bun that I want to just take and just set in my pocket and keep her safe um, uh, she does a very cute design. Um, I think the Japanese and, uh, English voice actor did a fantastic job, um, bringing this character to life. Uh, she's really fun in the manga, has some hilarious moments and over around it, you, you can probably kind of see like, she's another character that kind of breaks the, kind of breaks the, um, the seriousness of Chainsaw Man and brings that kind of humor the last character I want to talk about, and now this character is within the manga, so spoilers ahead. Um, this character I like to talk about is Cosmo, um, or a lot of people like to um, refer to her as, as Halloween or the Halloween fiend. Uh, Cosmo, in fact, I, didn't, I actually don't want to spoil her. I don't want to spoil her uh, what type of fiend she is, but. I love Cosmo. She is, I, I dare say, just I, I think it's actually a very cute, cutesy design for someone who has their brains hanging out of their head. Uh, I, I, again, I think that's there's this kind of like dark kind of comedy going on with it. Like they're trying to make her look cutesy with like the bow and like the heart in her her eyes and stuff. Like I think it's really funny that they're really trying to like make this character look cutesy, but on the surface, she's really grotesque. <laughs> and, uh, I find that, uh, I find that a really interesting character design. Um, and the best part about the character is she says nothing but Halloween. And there's reasons behind why she says nothing but Halloween. Uh, she even has an attack where it's like a command command. It's like a full out Halloween. Um, but yeah, I love Cosmo. I think, um, again, she's a character that like, Deep down is there is some seriousness to her character at the end of the day, but she's built like a you know a humorous character to you know 
basically basically deviate from the 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 traditional dark darker tones of Chainsaw Man and again this character is really just she really stuck with me I love Halloween and uh, I've always been a very big Halloween person and you know Halloween um, but yeah that's why I chose these three characters because like I, I think like out of all again I don't hate one single character in Chainsaw Man I think they're all equally just beautifully written um, but I had to choose three characters and I want to just choose three because I don't want to make this video long. Uh, so these are my three characters. I uh, hope you give the manga a read. I hope you give the anime a watch and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, be sure to do so by clicking here. If you are subscribed, we thank you for keeping the anime dream alive. Be sure to check out our other content here and here. For even more content, be sure to check out the rest of our channel, and be sure to follow us on Twitter by clicking the link in the description below. I'm Felicia, and I'll see you next time.